Well, the ship repair market has been on the upturn for the last two years, I would say. It started beginning of 22, and it's continued now in 23. And uh, we see for the next, for this year at least, and hopefully also next year and 25, it will continue to be a strong market for all the ship repair industry. Well, we actually service all everything as floating, everything from offshore vessels to the merchant vessels, uh, but also naval vessels, like for various naval uh, naval uh, or naval fleets for various countries. Um, but the majority of the vessels we are actually servicing is recently is the offshore industry, and the reason for that is that. Uh, for the last, I would say, since beginning of 22, probably end of 21, it started. They started to reactivate vessels because the oil price went up and became a great demand for offshore vessels, all kinds of offshore vessels, to, uh, to, to, uh, to service the platforms and the, the, the exploration industry, basically. So, and, and a lot of the maintenance and repair work for these vessels has been uh, put on hold for the last five years due to, of course, soaring uh, oil price and also very low charter rates. So now it was a demand for existing vessels to be repaired, but also the idle vessels who have been on idle for the last five, ten years almost, they had to be reactivated. And that actually hit the ship repair industry, uh, luckily for us, fortunately. So it's been very good for the last two years. I think uh, the important there is that we as a repair industry shows predictability to the customer. Because the customers are very often, they have to release the vessels from the chargers, and that's very difficult sometimes. So we need to show that we have capacity to do the work on short notice. That's not only the ship repair company, but also the docking facility. We have to show ample capacity so that we can actually serve them quickly and we have to do it in a predictable turnaround time. For them it's important that the, when the vessel comes to us, it has to go out quickly. Not keep the vessel as long as you can and make the most money out of it, that's not the issue. You can still make good money, but in short time, and so that he gets the vessel in, out, and you can put it back to the charter. Well, something I'm, I'm missing with the maritime industry compared to other industries is the green technology. Okay, they have, people are getting, they install ballast water treatment system, they install uh, systems that are cleaning the, 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 the fumes coming off the funnels. But you also have other, other sort of green technology, like for instance, um, electric propulsion to a greater extent. Um, more environmental friendly coatings, uh, more reuse of materials, not only recycling, but the reuse of equipment after its life, reconditioning it, putting it back in service again. I think the maritime industry could be better at that compared to other industries in the world.